Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Moogie, and you're tuned into Moogie TV. If you're looking for the best quality for your stream, look no further. I've spent countless hours trying to dissect OBS, trying to find the best settings on YouTube. And you know what, guys? I think I finally found it. I'm gonna preface this with this method. It's gonna utilize two computers. Personally, I have my gaming PC and my streaming PC. I'm using my MacBook Pro. You heard that correct, my MacBook Pro. Specs for both computers down below in my description. The only thing you're gonna need for this method to work is an internet connection, a shared internet connection, either Wi-Fi or ethernet. And the program that I'm going to use is free. All right, first step is network. Okay, so I have my gaming PC and my MacBook Pro. They're both hardwired, etherneted into my modem on the same network. I use ethernet because it just gets rid of all the Wi-Fi things. I use ethernet because it is just a direct line. It's more consistent i think the speeds are better so if you're using this method i found it pretty flawless with a hardwired ethernet connection the next step is you're going to want to install obs on your macbook you don't even need obs on your gaming pc obs eats up a lot of resources it hits my fps it just does a lot of things to my gameplay and the quality of my gaming that I didn't like and that's why I found this method to be so helpful. The third step, and this is just the magic key right here, is NDI tools. You're gonna wanna install NDI tools on your gaming PC and be sure you install the NDI plugins for your MacBook as well. It doesn't hurt to have, I'm not entirely sure if you need it, I think you do. So the link for both of those are down in the description. What NDI Tools essentially does is capture your screen over on your gaming PC and you can actually capture what your... It's hard to explain. Okay, so what NDI Tools does is it is able to screen capture without using like OBS on your gaming PC and essentially through Ethernet or an internet connection, you're able to transmit that information or data into your streaming PC, which means I don't need OBS open on my gaming PC. Uh, I could still have like 240, 200 frames while gaming instead of having OBS open on my gaming PC, which I found other people doing with the NDI plugin, but that just defeats the purpose. We don't want OBS open on our gaming PC, period. Please, if you find this video helpful or you enjoy this type of content, be sure you leave a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe to the channel so it can reach more people who are in need and looking for this type of content. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so now I'm on my gaming PC. What you want to install is this program right here. It's called NDI Tools. Double click it. It's going to open up this screen right here. What you're going to want to click is screen capture you have two options here you have the screen capture and then the screen capture hx which utilizes gpu hardware acceleration this one i couldn't figure out a way to capture my audio from my gameplay so i just went with the regular screen capture so once you have this go ahead and click that and it won't really open anything up it, it opens up something in the background so if you open up your show hidden icons here you'll see how NDI screen capture is uh, is open in the background. Uh, what you're gonna do here is right click it. And then you can obviously set all your uh, frame rate, capture settings, audio sources, webcam video source, webcam audio, etc. So for me, I actually like to choose my frame rate. I like to cap it at 60. I do have a 240 Hertz monitor. I think it's too much for OBS to capture, especially when you're uh, encoding and streaming it at 60 frames. At least for me on my OBS, I use 60 frames when I stream. So anything over 60, I feel like those frames might be lost or it's just redundant, you know, like it, it's extraneous. You don't need it. So I cap my frames at 60. Again, I have to right click it, go back here. So now you see how I cap my frames at 60 frames. 
The next thing is capture settings. I leave this alone. It, pretty much if you leave it as default, it will capture your full screen right here. So you don't really have to worry about that one. The next two ones are very important. You have audio source and you have webcam audio source. For me, my video source, I actually plug my webcam directly into my MacBook. Again, this is on our gaming PC. This is our gaming PC. So my webcam, I just inline it. I directly put it into my uh, MacBook Pro. I run a Logitech uh, 1080p 4K uh, webcam. I think it's the Brio. Uh, so audio so source, this is important. You're going to want to set this as system audio or whatever audio you hear your gameplay. So this is going to actually capture your audio as well. So for me, I just keep it on system audio um, and it records my game audio through my system audio. The next thing is webcam audio. This one I actually use to talk through um, right now. This webcam audio source is plugged into my PC. I don't have my microphone plugged into my MacBook because if I did, then nobody in my game would hear me. So I need to keep my microphone connected to my gaming PC so my teammates could hear me. So if you use, you know, like an external microphone like I do, or if you have a headset that has a microphone, it will still capture your audio. You just want to make sure you select the right one for me. It's microphone. I use the HyperX Quadcast S. Great microphone. I also have a review and a setup tutorial on my YouTube channel. Go check it out. And other than that, you're all done here. That's how simple this method is. That's all you got to do on your gaming PC. I'm not even joking. All right, next we're going to move on to the MacBook. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky, but bear with me. Um, essentially, you're going to be on your MacBook. Now you're going to want to input two sources. The first source is going to be for your NDI screen capture. And the second source is going to be your NDI audio only. So we're going to go ahead and double click on the first NDI source. And as you can see, if you have your NDI tools on and the screen capture on in your gaming PC, again, make sure both systems are on the same network. You will see your screen, your image just pop up right here, just as is. That's all you got to do. If you don't see, you could play around with the settings here, see if uh, that's going to make it work. But for me, default, bam, it's already there. The second step is adding that second source. You want to entitle it, you know, NDI source or audio only, uh, whatever. And uh, what you do now is go to the drop down menu within this NDI source and you're going to choose the audio only. Sometimes it shows up with like a weird image before it didn't really do that. It was just a black screen. But, you know, just make sure you hide that image. You can't hide the icon like the eye icon. If you hide that eye icon, the audio source will actually mute itself. So you're going to want to keep that shown. Just drag it below your display capture or whatever. So that image that you see of the, the NDI little logo is not appearing on your stream and that's it it's simple as that so the fourth step is my obs settings on my streaming pc i've spent countless hours i spent days looking for the best settings for obs on a macbook uh, for me for my macbook pro with these specs i found that these were the best settings here are the encoding settings here are the bit rates you're going to want to use two keyframes um and yeah hopefully these work for you if they don't try to play around with those but for me i stream at 1080p at 60 frames per second on twitch and it looks pretty close to flawless i mean come check out the gameplay my link for twitch is down below in the description moogie tv i stream almost daily come check me out the next step is obviously just connect your stream key or your streaming account your server ingest well whatever uh just Log on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook gaming, whatever you stream on, just input all that info into your streaming settings. And last but not least, go ahead, play your game at full capacity, uh, have at it. Uh, you will notice that you do not really take a, a FPS hit on your gaming PC. I used to stream 
Warzone and I had OBS running, I had all my overlays and on a 3080 Ti with the 5900X, I was getting like 140 frames, which is what I was like kind of getting with my 1080 Ti. Uh, so anyways, that was driving me nuts. So I found this method now. I could play at 200 plus FPS while streaming at the same time. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, again, leave a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe for more content and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.